story, that's that's what I feel like I'm good at. Yeah. Because that's what I'm good at. Right now, actually, I... This the city of shoppers in the city of frauds. You feel like you don't even want to rap no more in those days where... Yo, what's up? It's AGB The Don, and we here at We Love Hip Hop, and we're gonna give you a quick little story about b the Kid, and what his life was like, and his crazy story. So I found the best facts I could. There's not a whole lot on the internet, so I really did the best I could, but I'm coming at you with it, so here we go. b story is a story of the rise, the fall, and the amazing rise again of one of the most influential Montreal hip hop artists to date. b the Kid was born on October 21st, 1986, in in Naime, Niger. The nickname Bilo was given to him by his mother at birth and would carry on as his name in his rap career for years to come. And at the age of just one, Bilo, his family, and his one sibling make the amazing journey to Canada from war-stricken Rwanda. They had landed in Montreal, an immigrant welcoming city, and a city that welcomes all. At the time, living in St. Leonard, a low-income project for the first year before establishing themselves in the Chez Michel neighborhood of 6-7, one of the roughest crime-infested areas of Montreal, according to the Gazette. From the young age of just 12, Bilo developed an interest in rap music. Even though he is fluent in French, he started writing raps in English, which is rare in Quebec. Bilo, a kid that was often in trouble, attended summer school the year before high school, where he met a teacher that would change his life. This teacher would the next year be his principal, and he's seen in Bilo more than just a troublemaking kid. He's seen talent. He's seen potential. He's seen the greatness that was to come. Seeing an artistic side in Bilo and more than just a troubled kid, his principal signs him up to an audition for a role in a televised sitcom called Fred Die, which he successfully wins over 200 candidates at the age of just 13. The star of the sitcom and his dad, one of the most influential people in his life, passes away after a long battle with cancer. After mourning the loss, he dedicates himself to his craft. He stays dedicated to acting and doing all of that stuff, and he stays dedicated to practicing his rhyme and rhythm on the side when he's not doing shoots. And for two years, he soaks in what show business has to offer, still practicing on the side. Finally, after doing many showcases and talent shows, he's noticed by a label called Lion Soundtrack, where he starts working on a mixtape called From Nothing to Something, which will never see the light of day due to professional and contractual issues. What a shame. When he turns 16 without an album or mixtape out, he is already creating a buzz in his neighborhood and the underground scene in Montreal due to featuring he has with other fellow rappers and stellar appearances and the Montreal Lit Volume 2 Street DVD. He would then go on to form a group called the 7 Ave Boys, made up of mostly childhood friends and named after the area that they come from. They would hit the city hard. In 2006, he decides to work on his first mixtape called Called Hood Classics, which barely scratched the surface on his ability to create songs and his rhyming skills. Well received by the masses, he would follow up the next year with his second mixtape. On the seventh day of the seventh month of the seventh year, he would drop his sequel mixtape, Hood Classics Volume 2. This would solidify his name in the small but growing Montreal underground rap scene. Often called the hope of the city, Bilo showed younger members of the rap community levels that could be risen to with hard work, dedication, and effort. But it wasn't all good. About a month after his mixtape, Bilo and his cousin got into a scuffle with a man, where the man attacked his cousin, and Bilo was forced to react and ended the man's life. Unfortunately, he was arrested for murder and booked that night. He would remain behind bars through his trial where the media prosecuted him and did not give him a fair shake. On December 22nd, 2009, in front of an all-white jury, Bilo would be found guilty of second-degree murder, and on January 20th of 2010, he was sentenced to 12 years to life. When everyone thought his career had come to an end, magic was about to happen. Bilo 
Minnesota kid and his lawyer put in an appeal for his case to the Quebec Supreme Court that was rejected in May of 2012, but was received and approved by the Supreme Court of Canada in May of 2013, seven years after the infamous night that changed his life. He was granted bail and a new trial, and the excitement was growing amongst his fan base. If you want to see some of the most real, most heartfelt, most in-depth from the soul music rap music you've ever heard and videos you've ever seen go and look up songs below the kid was releasing while he was out on bail not knowing if he was going to get to stay home with his family or if he was only going to get to see them through bars in a cell and that's real so imagine what he was going through. I suggest everybody to go check out his music from that time period. He would waste no time and hit the studio to work on his most anticipated mixtape to date titled Out on Bail, which would hit the streets on September 15, 2014. Once again, he proved all of the haters and the critics wrong, coming out with great music that hit for its times and not old music that the younger generations couldn't understand. He kept with the times and he showed his musical prowess and how diverse of an artist he really was that he could capture that much of a fan base after being incarcerated that long. And in November of 2015, he would get his wish come true. He would get his charge reduced from murder down to manslaughter, which would mean he would only have months left to serve with the time he had already served. The end of the road was in sight and his journey was just beginning. I hope you liked this documentary on the rise the fall and the rise again of Below the Kid, one of the most influential, if not the most influential rapper out of the city of Montreal. Hey yo, what up? I hope you enjoyed the video. To AGB, we love hip hop. We got more of these coming. I hope you like this little Montreal gem of a real piece of rap history in the scene in Montreal. And we got people coming from international to local to stuff you might never have heard of, the stuff you might be surprised you never heard. You know what I'm saying? So keep tapping into We Love Hip Hop. This is AGB. We out. Peace.